Which university should I go to? What course should I take? Should I take a gap year? Mabuhay! My name is Elijah. Just been contemplating. Your typical high school student thinking about their future. Now, one of the key questions that I've heard from my peers is whether they should take a gap year. Now, taking a gap year or going straight to college or university is one of the key defining choices that you'll have in life, at least in my opinion. Now, there are fervent supporters for gap years and as well as naysayers saying that gap years are a way of spend time. But for this type of choice, why don't we put our thinking caps and weigh those options down and compare. So let's go. Now, what is a gap year? In my own opinion, it's this set period, usually a year, where anybody can really do whatever they want from work experience to internship to traveling around the world for fun away from the education system. Now what are the merits of gap years? One of the key advantages that I see is the fact that you have this space and to have the time where you can actually think about what you want to do in life. This decision of going for the course that you want to opt for is going to, is going to decide who you're going to be in society and what your identity is going to be to others. And this gap year allows for that self-actualization. Furthermore, gap years allows this actual realistic uh, practical implementation, this setting where you can actually um, do what you want to do, what the course that you're um, interested in. Uh, so, But there are also disadvantages. Gap years, uh, as I see it, is the fact that you're going to lose the knowledge, the wisdom that you've taken from high, from the high school years that you've done, from all the knowledge that you've attained. And especially in this day and age where it's very competitive, uh, this system is going to leave you behind if you're gonna opt for a gap year. Furthermore, there are also financial issues, um, which is a whole can of worms. And whether you're gonna be able to afford these gap years, is going to be primarily on your own account. So these are the merits and disadvantages that I see with gap years. After using our thinking caps, we can now weigh and compare these merits and cons and apply it to our own lives. But ultimately, it just rests upon your choice, your choice of profession and what course you want to take. For me, it's chemical engineering. So from all the accounts and what I've seen, the testimonies from Quora and the internet, chemical engineering doesn't really need a gap year. And because of the background experience that's needed to actually opt for the internship needed for it. Thus, going straight to university is the most viable option for me. However, if you're going for any social uh, work or humanitarian work, such as a teacher, uh, highly, I highly recommend uh, a gap year, but it's your choice. And if you want to discuss more, go down below at the YouTube section. Uh, but see you, I'm going to contemplate on life again. Why did the chicken cost a 